you want the exclusive on how to make a simple keynote intro. Follow this tutorial to get one made in 7 minutes. If you're new here and want to get actionable strategies like this one, consider subscribing to my channel. Also, follow us on Instagram at Thou Shall Glow. So start in Keynote with a white wide presentation. Go ahead and delete those text boxes and add new text boxes. Obviously, do what works for your design. I knew that I wanted to switch up the fonts for each word in my design, so I added two text boxes. So at this point in the design, just play around with fonts, sizing, placement, all of that. lettering and it would be totally fine and really simplistic and beautiful but I knew that I wanted some type of image to bring visual interest to my design so I went ahead and searched for um, just a pink heart on Google and to put in between Maya and exclusively so you want to search for a PNG transparent background file. Um, the one I got actually still has this white square around it, but because of the way that I placed it, you can't tell in the finished design. If it were on a different color background, you would be able to see that white square. So just insert your file that you just downloaded wherever you'd like to place it in your design, move it around, resize as needed. And then we're just going to move on to the animation. So go ahead and select which part of the text you want to animate. Go to add build and then choose what your animation will be from the drop down list. Move on to the next part of your, I like to move from left to right, so move on to the next part of your design. Add build, select how you want it to build in. And then finally the last part of your design, add build and then select what kind you like. Repeat the same steps for building it out. Go ahead, build out, select how you want it to leave your screen. I really like crumble. Same thing there. And the um, heart is last for me, just to switch it up a little bit, give it some something different. And then you want to drag each build order um, up so that they take place simultaneously just because it looks cleaner and um, more intentional that way. Go ahead and preview your work just to make sure you like it on the big screen before 
you go ahead and export it out to iMovie. export to selecting movie change that 720p to 1080p so that it's high definition if anyone's watching this on their television I had already saved it so I'm canceling out but you would proceed as if you were saving it I highly suggest saving it to your desktop to make it easier then hop on over to iMovie import your new media that you just made My desktop is clearly a mess. Add it in your timeline and boom, wham, bam. The Virgo in me cuts off the excess white screen. I just feel like it's really unnecessary and takes away from visual interest of your viewers. And then I just like to run through it and see if I cut it at the right point, which I did. And then just go ahead and watch it in full screen to make sure, and here you go. Your simple YouTube intro with Keynote. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more like these, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks, Faye.